the new iPads, MacBook Air and the Mac Mini. Let's get in depth of the things that was announced in the Apple October keynote event, shall we? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Faris here. In today's video, we're gonna cover the Apple October keynote event. First up, when Tim went on stage, he started talking about the MacBooks. He showed different types of um, MacBook that was released for the past couple of years. It's more of a nostalgic moment where you get to see different types of people using the MacBook in black and white. He also mentioned the debut of the first MacBook Air when Steve Jobs took it out of an envelope and showed the thinnest MacBook um, ever to the world, the thinnest computer even. Now looking at the MacBook Air, for the first time ever, the MacBook Air will support a retina display, having four times resolution, sharper text, and enabling 48% more color. The computer will be Touch ID ready, allowing consumers to unlock the computer with your fingerprint scanner and obviously make purchases um, via Apple Pay. The MacBook Air will also have a T2 chip. This is pretty cool as it features a management system and it basically protects your sensitive information and protects the Touch ID Enclave. It's following the footsteps from the latest MacBook Pro that was launched not long ago. Keyboard will boast Apple's third gen butterfly keyboard, force trackpad covering 20 more surfaces and having a haptic feedback. Speakers will be 25% louder with more bass and three mic arrays that will improve voice recognition when you say, hey Siri. Yes. So with that in mind, the IO will have two Thunderbolt 3 via USB Type-C that according to Apple can run displays up to 5K. The computer will have an all day battery life. Looking at where the horsepower is for the computer, um, the chips in this new model, the baseline MacBook Air, it will have eight gigs of memory, 1.6 gigahertz core i5 and 128 gigabyte storage. The asking price for this is $1,199 USD and it will be available on the 7th of November. Next up, Mac Minis. The new Mac Mini starts with four cores. That is a 3.6 gigahertz core i3 with eight gigs of memory and 128 gigabyte SSD. According to 9to5Mac, it's roughly around four years since Apple refreshed the Mac Mini. So Mac mini owners are pr probably going to be excited. They're probably going to want to upgrade because four years is pretty long time. Looking at the ports, the Mac mini will have four Thunderbolt 3 ports, an Ethernet port, HDMI and two USB-A port. I can also see a headphone jack also there as well. We're announcing an all new iPad Pro. And the iPad Pro. Judging from the crowd's reaction, the iPad Pro just grabs the spotlight. And this is a new 12.9 inch iPad Pro. The announcement was more than what I expected. I mean, everything from when the design was leaked, um, to be honest, I was, I and I think a few other people or a couple of different peoples not prepared for the features that were about to be announced. Apple announced that the iPad Pro will have LCD display that will stretch from edge to edge, calling it a liquid retina display. This display from a 10.5 inch, because it's stretch, it'll go to 11 inch. It's going to have Apple's A12X chip. According to Apple, it's going to be comparable to Xbox One class graphics. 10 billion transistors, 8 core CPU with 4 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores, up by 35%. Apple boasts this iPad Pro is going to be 92% faster than other computers in the market. All day battery life. And the thing that tops it off is it's going to be the new Apple Pencil. The new Apple Pencil, man, it's gonna be a must have, to be honest. Instead of plugging in the Apple Pencil to the iPad awkwardly like we, we are used to doing, the new one 
it'll just snap onto the new iPad. It'll take the charge from the iPad to the Apple Pencil. So the Apple Pencil will charge as of it being snapped to the iPad. Um, and well, the Apple Pencil will be ready when you are, when you want to use the iPad. I'm excited to get the iPad. Another feature that I'm excited for is the Apple Pencil's tip. So if you have the new Apple Pencil, let's say when you're jotting down your note, if you want to switch modes, rather than tapping the screen, you just tap on the tip of the Apple Pencil and it will just change the modes. Makes the experience better. In conclusion, tell me what you guys think about the October keynote event. Let me know in the comments down below whether you're getting one, you're interested in one, or if you're getting one, which, which one you're getting? <laughs> Do you think there's a big difference between 12.9 or the 11 inch? You know, um, other than display. Yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.